My name is Rashmi Halker Singh, and I'm the online social media, media editor for the Headache Journal. I'm joined today with Dr. Chia Chen Chang from the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, who is the 2022 recipient of the Early Career Award from the American Headache Society. Congratulations on your award this year. Thank you so much, Dr. Hawker. Um, so the manuscript that's associated with this award is called Migraine with Aura Associates with a Higher Artificial Intelligence ECG Atrial Fibrillation Prediction Model Output Compared to Migraine Without Aura in Men and Women. Is that correct? Yes, yes, that is correct. And so I want to just speak to you a little bit about your work with the study. Can you tell us a little bit about this project? Sure. So we know that migraine with aura is associated with a higher risk of ischemic stroke. And studies, for example, atherosclerosis risk in community studies suggest that migraine with aura, patient with migraine with aura has a higher incidence of developing atrial fibrillation over time. Therefore, atrial fibrillation could play an important role in this migraine and stroke association. However, AFib is quite challenging to diagnose, typically require long-term prolonged cardiac monitoring, which very few patients with migraine have underwent unless they have stroke or other vascular risk factors. Here at Mayo Clinic, our cardiology team developed an AI-enabled ECG algorithm that calculates the probability of subclinical atrial fibrillation in ECGs that was interpreted as normal sinus rhythm. Given that a lot of patients with migraine evaluated here have at least one ECGs, but very few patients um, with migraine had underwent prolonged cardiac monitoring. I thought that this AI ECG algorithm would be a perfect tool um, to evaluate the AFib migraine association in our patient population. Therefore, I, our goal for this study is to evaluate the AI ECG prediction model output in patients with migraine with aura and migraine without aura. And I plan to do that in both men and women and across different age groups. So for this study, we included all patients seen at Mayo Clinic over the past 20 years who had a diagnosis of migraine, as well as at least one ECG done at Mayo Clinic, one normal sinus rhythm ECG, and we excluded everyone with a confirmed diagnosis of AFib. We also extracted the vascular risk factors as well to, to adjust for, and we found that after we adjusted for age, sex, and several vascular risk factors, patients with migraine with aura has a significantly higher AFib prediction model output compared to migraine without aura. And that was true for both women only and men only group. And that was most significant in patients younger than 55 years old. Therefore, we suggest that migraine with aura, we, our results suggest that migraine with aura is an independent risk factor for atrial fibrillation, especially in patients younger than 55 years old. And another thing that I wanted to point out is that our study also um, demonstrated that how pairing modern technology, such as this AI ECG algorithm with a traditional non-invasive or non-expensive test like ECG can give us significant insight of the association between different clinical diseases such as migraine and atrial fibrillation. So those are some important findings that you're able to elicit from this big database, because I think you had what, something like 40,000 patients included in your trial. Is that correct? Yes, yes, exactly. So we had a total of 40,002 patients with migraine with aura and migraine without aura. So a little bit more patients with migraine without aura, um, less patients with migraine with aura, uh, migraine with aura but we had a total of 40,000 patients. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. So I think it's pretty important what you were able to find. And, you know, I know that not only are you a researcher, but you see quite a few patients in your clinical practice as well. So how has this impacted what you tell the patients that you see who have migraine with aura, for example? Has this changed what you do in your, in your practice of medicine? So I think that is a great question. And the study kind of reinforced the idea that there's an association between migraine with aura and paroxysmal atrial fibrillation. So whenever I evaluate patients with migraine with aura, if the aura is new or there's a clinical change that the aura became more frequent, and especially um, in patients that 
have more vascular risk factors, then I would tend to look at the AI ECG AFib prediction model output to see whether this model shows that the AFib risk is high or low. If it's high, then I would be more inclined to arrange evaluation, including, for example, prolonged cardiac monitoring um, and echocardiogram or MRI. And but most importantly, I think I would recommend patients with migraine with aura to pay attention to their vascular risk factors and make sure that their risk, vascular risk factors are well controlled for stroke prevention. That, that's great advice. I was also really interested by this manuscript because you were able to use artificial intelligence and also you know, recruit such a huge cohort of patients in your trial. We don't really see manuscripts or research projects in headache medicine that use AI as often. Can you share with us some of the benefits of using that idea or that, I guess, that, that model of, of studying uh, in, in headache medicine? Yeah, certainly. I think this study is an example how we utilize an established AI tool um, established by our cardiology colleague to study the physiology of migraine and the association between migraine and other diseases such as atrial fibrillation. But I think going forward, uh, this is certainly an exciting area. Um, I think AI was different, the, not different techniques can certainly benefit headache medicine research. So for example, um, this nature language processing could certainly help us gather unstructured information from electronic health record or from other resources. And even in established headache databases, we can use tools such as supervised or unsupervised machine learning, um, which can give us the ability to analyze and compute a large amount of data. Like for, um, for, for, for our study, we had a huge number of patients. And then hopefully utilizing those novel tools can help us analyze a big amount of information with the ultimate goal to identify, for example, various predictors for treatment response and to achieve the goal of personalized precision headache medicine. Well, that's all really exciting. I really look forward to see what more we can un uncover using AI in migraine and other headache research and, and to help people. So congratulations again on your award and on this, uh, on this work that you're doing. Thank you so much.